participated in over 500 ice hockey games for the Greensboro Generals. Tonight, tonight we're honoring Ron Muir and Gary Sharp for having completed during this season 500 games with the Generals. Here for a special presentation is our team chaplain, Dr. Sam Sox, who wishes to present a special gift to these players, after which Fire Chief Moon Warwick and Butch Bullard will be here to assist in the following gifts, which will be given to these outstanding players from the many fans and businesses who, along with all of us, wish for these two players the best of success in their future endeavors. Now, Reverend Sam Sox. Ron, Gary, because you have brought so many thrills to those of us who love hockey, and because we have learned to love you, I want to personally present to you this little token of our friendship for you. And may God bless you. <laughs> to Ron and Gary, from Mr. Adolph Guise of Prego Guise, a cosmetic gift for both Ron and Gary. We're not going to hand these gifts out right now because it take too much time, and they can come down the room afterwards and pick them out. Everyone has their names on them. So if you'll do that, and then we'll have another word to say at the end of it. Okay, Moon. Uh, I'll read the list of items, and uh, then we'll depart with the gifts and uh, present them to you a little later. All the names. Right. From Mr. Dave Casual of the Dixie Bell Company, some wearing apparel for both Ron and Gary. From Bill Brewer and Justice Drug Company, a piece of luggage for Ron and Gary. From Cass Jewelry Store, a silver stein for both. From Tom Case of Sedgefield Country Club Golf Shop, a pair of golf shoes for Ron Muir. From David Green of the Monticello Country Club, a wedge golf club for Ron Muir to be ordered to match his set of clubs. And from David Green of the Monticello Club, one dozen golf balls to each of the boys. From Ernie Edwards of Stormount Forest Country Club, golf shop, a pair of golf shoes for Gary Sharp. From Mr. and Mrs. Richard Bullard, a new putter for Gary. From George Cochran of the Greensboro Country Club, golf shop, a dozen golf balls and a copy for each of the boys of the book, Unplayable Lies, written and autographed by Fred Cochran. <laughs> they need it. And from Mr. and Mrs. Harold Ross, a monogrammed sweater for both Ron and Gary. From the Rosses, also a special box of candy for the wives. And from the National Shirt and Hat Shop, a sport coat with 500 pennies in the pocket, one to each, Ron and Gary. From Steve Kudis of Crown Electronics Company, a cigarette lighter for each one. From Mr. Stan Brunt of the Pepsi-Cola Bottling Company of Greensboro, a picnic drink cooler to each Ron and Gary. From Mr. Herman Cohn of Cohn Mills, a set of towels to each. From Miss Janie Levitas, a set of Dr. Grable pipes for each Ron and Gary. From the Bergen Nesbitt family to Ron and Barbara Muir, a 30-minute long-distance telephone call to each one's family in Canada. And let's see, from Mrs. Victor M. Cutter, Jr. and daughter Ann, a 30-minute long-distance telephone call home for Gary and Norma Sharp. And from the Town and Country Beauty Salon, six months free service to both Barbara Muir and Norma Sharp. And from Mr. Gordon King of the Greensboro Republic Lumber Company, seven sheets of plywood paneling to Ron Muir. From Carolina Steel Corporation, a gift for Gary and Norma. And Bob Young is skating around with the portrait of Ron Muir and Doug Carpenter with the portrait of Gary Sharp. And uh, now,
We have to Gary Sharp from Gary Marshall. Oh, Miss Sharp will take care of this. <laughs> and from WFMY TV, a duplicate copy of the filming of tonight's event. From the Greensboro Generals Hockey Club, a television set to Ron Muir and a stereo set to Gary Sharp. And from many fans, an oil portrait of each player for Ron and Gary and their families. And here they are. Be sure to introduce the children. Tell them their names. Right. Well, we'll introduce to you, in case you don't already know, Barbara Muir. And Barbara, your children here, let's see, who are they? Which one? This is Sandy. Sandy. And Susie. Susie. And Elaine. And Elaine. Cindy. And Cindy's over there at the television. That's the Muir family. And this is Norma Sharp and her lovely family here. Norma, uh, would you introduce these? This is John and Jill and Cheryl. John, Jill. Jill. John, Jill, and Cheryl. Jill and Jill. Cheryl. And these are the Sharps. And let's see, now Carson. And now to introduce to you our two fans, we'll first hear from Ron Muir. Ron Muir. You have to come up. Thank you, Carson. And I'd like to thank the uh, all the wonderful fans here in Greensboro. And I'd like to thank uh, all the hockey players I play with. And uh, it's just a wonderful night, and thanks very, very much. And now, Gary Sharp. Gary. Well, this isn't exactly down my line, but... <laughs> I just can't find the words to express how much this means to me and my family. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't believe the script could have been written better, but let's give a great big hand to the men who made the first two goals tonight and who are going to make the next eight. <laughs> Okay. 